Hello, my loves. Welcome to your monthly love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here today for my Cancers, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. So here we have the Four of Cups. And we have the Seven of Swords. Oh boy, Cancer. What's happening here? There's this energy of someone feels very unhappy, dissatisfied. Someone feels like they're being taken advantage of. We have the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And we have the Eight of Swords. I feel like someone is just making the decision to work on themselves. Like, all right, well, you know, my love life isn't really working, so I'm just going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on career, my wish fulfillment. Um, I feel like... I feel like communication between you and this person may be small or uh, not small. It, it, you may not be talking to this person very much. And when they do give you a compliment or say that they love you or whatever, with the eight of swords, you just, you're feeling like something's not right. You're, you're feeling like something's not right with what this person says to you or promises you. We've got the ten of swords here. And the Three of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Cancer, I feel like So we have a tower hitting. We have a tower hitting. Oh boy. For some of you, I hate to say this, but for some of you, you may get some shocking news that someone here is finding out that they're pregnant. Someone here was being non-committal with that Queen of Wands energy. We've got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands back to back. Um, yeah, I feel like someone here may be finding out that someone is pregnant. So it could be that somebody is ending something to move towards a third party um, or because of a third party. Someone's making the decision to heal and, you know, move on, move towards their Ten of Pentacles and that's it. But the thing is, is that this boat is moving towards the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, that's that's the interesting thing. Normally in the Six of Swords, the boat is going away. In this particular deck, the boat is going towards this Ten of Pentacles. So what I find interesting here is I feel that someone is ending something with a third party and choosing to have peace in their life and moving towards their Ten of Pentacles. So is the Ten of Pentacles you or is the Ten of Pentacles somewhere else? Like, I don't know. Let's, let's clarify. Hold on. I mean, is that is that there is there a third party here? Like, because this person's making a decision. Someone here is making a decision to to heal, to recover something. Tell me about the Four of Cups, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Wow. Now, this may have already happened, guys. You may have already ended things with this person because you were really unhappy. King of Swords and the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like there's a sense of, I don't want to be with you because you only want to be with me because I do this for you or I do that for you. Like, there's a sense of you're only using me for this, this, and that. Temperance. And the Eight of Pentacles again. Look, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. They're just doing you. Page of Cups and the Two of Cups with the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Swords again twice. So 
I feel like this person sees your come up here, okay? They see you just focusing on you, living your life, doing good. I don't I don't necessarily feel Yeah, no, there could have been an ending. You're you're not with this person. I feel, I feel like this person is seeing your come up here. They're coming in with an apology, wanting to reconcile. This person may be very stuck in their head over how they treated you, Cancer. Yeah, like I feel like this person was only with you for what you could do for them, and you're pushing them away now. You're you're starting to cut it off like you know what i'm saying little by little you're starting to withdraw from that because you're busy you have shit to do here okay you're focusing on your wish you're choosing you do you understand what i'm saying and i feel like they're coming in you know wanting to reconcile and all this other stuff but with the eight of swords not only do you feel like something's not right with it but i feel like this person may be a little infatuated with you yeah because you see here this person is looking for a second chance they're they're a little obsessed with getting you back Yeah, they're a little obsessed with getting you back. I feel like this person wants you back because you were an empress. You gave them that good type of love. I feel like they, they, you know, they, they withheld from you. They put blockages up from you because they had a lot of other options. But, you know, maybe there was an ex here that they were messing with. You know, they were holding back from you because someone else was in the picture. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. We have the Two of Wands. Yeah, there may have been two people in the picture. Mm-hmm. Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Someone here may have walked away to go towards a third party. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Queen of Wands. Two of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Six of Swords and the Magician Virgo Gemini Energy. So I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like this ended because somebody here went towards a third party and I feel like it made the third party happy, but someone here is realizing that they're not getting the benefit of what they had before. Does that make sense? Do you understand? So someone here went to the third party and the third party was happy. So everything was okay with them. But you know, this person is like, well, wait, I'm not, I'm not getting, you know, all the good stuff that I was getting with cancer. You see what I'm saying? Cancer busted their ass for me. Right? So here, someone doesn't want to let go of the abundance. For some of you, it could be money. For some of you, it could be money, okay? They didn't want to let go of that. So someone here is coming back in towards their Ten of Pentacles. Someone here wants to come back and manifest. Yeah, someone wants to come back and manifest with you. They want to work with you. So the problem is, is that, <coughs> excuse me, the problem is, is that the third party couldn't give to them the way you did uh it could have been money it could have been something like there was some form of abundance that this queen of wands could not provide so we've got discovery here we've got great achievement yes someone is realizing how successful you are cancer decrease and back and forth yeah so someone here is going to stop cheating someone here is going to stop they, they they're not they're they're no longer undecided i i don't want to go back and forth anymore i'm realizing that you're super successful so it's you i want to be with you oh fantastical like it's not <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah see i feel like someone is happy unhappy where they are so they're looking for other uh possibilities here yeah and i feel like what happened was <coughs> I happen, what happened was rest and rejuvenation and contract. I feel like someone here was unhappy. I feel like the option was unhappy. So this queen of wands was unhappy. And I feel like your person went ahead and made that queen of wands happy, but it was an uneven contract because this queen of wands is not able to provide what you were able to provide. Do you see what I'm saying? So this, you know, finally they got the Queen of Wands to stop nagging. Now, guys, I'm saying energy because this Queen of Wands could be a male, okay? We don't read gender, we read energy here. So this Queen of Wands stopped nagging and got your person to commit, but at the same time, they weren't able to give the way you are. We've got honeymoon, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, and calling in your soulmate. 
So this person is calling you back together. They want to move forward. This person wants a second chance with you, Cancer. Can they be trusted, though? Can they be trusted? Because I, I don't, as of right now, I'm not really sure, certain that this person is coming back for the right reasons. That's the question. That's the question. So let's take it into the extended. Okay, let's see what's going to happen between you and this person. Let's see if you have to worry about this Queen of Wands energy. Like, is it really over between him, them and the Queen of Wands? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's saying here that this person's going to stop jumping back and forth, you know, but I feel like it's because, you know, so I want to feel what I want to know what their real intentions with you are. What are their true feelings and intentions? Because um, as of right now. I'm not feeling like an overwhelming sense of love. I'm not going to lie. You know, so let's see what their true feelings and intentions with you are. Let's see what's going on with this person and this queen of wands. Let's see what we have going on. Okay. Link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys. Bye.